writing. Okay, first we have Jokzai B, Ella B, Haley C, Nelly D, Lily D, Ocean E, Zaraya, Joshua N, Landon, Helen, don't forget to share those slides. Haley, Elliot, don't forget to share those slides. Mackenzie, Lumi, and Nopa, congratulations for committing all of your science activities last week. Thank you so much. Give her a round of applause. All right. Also, not only did those students do a fantastic job, these students are flip grid famous. Guys, y'all were cooking up something special last week. I absolutely loved your flip grid response so much that I want to share it with all of fifth grade. So, please comment in the chat down below if I have your permission to share your flip grid with the group. Ocean, Amelia, Cammy, Colin, and Amy. Your responses were perfect. Love them. All right. So don't forget to say yes or no in the chat if you are one of those people. Congratulations. You made me proud. All righty. So our next unit is on heat transfer. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Do you see the steam rising? So by the end of this unit, you are going to be able to tell me why the steam rises and what exactly is going on scientifically when we cook our noodles or our pasta or our toast. You guys are gonna be able to analyze the scientific process that is taking place because every time we cook, we are using science. So those of you who may want to be a chef one day, you're gonna need some science. All right, so before we begin, I know you guys are super excited. We're talking about cooking, we're talking about food, it's right after lunch. But before we get started in this new unit and you guys see what all kinds of crazy stops Ms. Hernandez gonna pull out, um, I do need to know what you know. So that means that it is now your job to show me what you know about heat transfer before we ever even start. So the first thing you're gonna do today when we are done you're going to log into NCCloud. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to click on that SchoolNet icon. And then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to type in that test code, which is also listed in your Echo so that you've got it there as well. And lastly, you will type done in the comment box in Echo and submit your work. Please do not forget that last step, my lovely children. And it's not Tuesday. All righty. So, I've got, I've got lots of cooking to do. You've got lots of uh, showing me what you know to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, go and take that pretest. If you have any questions or you need me for anything, please stick around. But if not, you are free to hop off of here and get started on showing me what you know. Braxton and Colin, please stay on. Braxton, Braxton you are needed. Stick around. All right. <laughs> yes, I am a cook. I'm a cook, I'm a scientist, I'm a jack of all trades. All right, I'm going to scoot. Most of you are off now. I'm going to scooty scoot my hot cooktop over to the side here. So I don't burn myself, conduct heat onto my hand. I would not like that one bit, that would hurt. But I'm going to be here to answer your wish. Okay, dokie. Okay. Hernandez, can you put me and Braxton in a breakout room real quick, please? Absolutely. Thank you. 
You're very welcome. Alright, friends. 